Hello and welcome back to yet another episode of Pentricide Quest. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a step back from geometry nodes and we're going to make this basketball simulation effect. Now, before we get started, I again want to thank my patrons who've been supporting this channel for a really long time. If you want access to my project files, my asset packs and other products, make sure you check out my Patreon. Now, without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So here we are in a fresh new scene of Blender. I don't think there's a point in showing you how to model the backboard and the pole. Let's just uh, move to the ring part of it, ring and the net part, net part of it. Okay, so let's add a cylinder with seven vertices, 0 0.1 as its radius, 0 0.25 as its depth, and nothing as the fill type. Next in edit mode, press Ctrl R and add three divisions to the height. Now select all the faces, right click, and poke faces. Now select one of these uh, edges going uh, from top to bottom. Press Shift G and select them by direction. Press Ctrl X and this will dissolve all of these edges. Now enable the X-ray and select these three edge loops and dissolve them as well because we don't need them. Select the top loop, scale it up to match the uh, shape of a real net. Also press Ctrl G and assign these to a new vertex group. Now we'll add a cloth modifier to this. Let's increase the quality steps, increase the vertex mass by a little bit. Let's change the bending model to linear because we don't need the complexity of uh, angular and this one also calculates easier and quicker. Let's reduce the structural and bending stiffness. In the shape menu, give the vertex group uh, we made as the selection for pin group. Give it all the collision quality Let's also enable the object collision and self collision because the net must not pass through itself. Next, we'll be reducing the distance uh, to 0 0.001 and uh, let's give it the friction of 0 0.05. Let's uh, also increase the impulse clamping just a little bit to reduce uh, unstable simulation. Now add a sphere in your scene, make it a rigid body, add a collision tag, decrease its thickness and place it above the net. This way the ball is just going to fall down. But if you want to make a shot in which you throw a ball a certain distance, what you can do is follow the next steps. Now inside the rigid body settings, click on the animated checkbox. Now create a location keyframe on your ball. Move ahead a couple keyframes. Create another location keyframe on your ball. Now between the two location keyframes, create a keyframe for the animated checkbox. Move ahead a couple keyframes, disable the animated checkbox and create a keyframe again. Now if you press play, Blender is going to calculate the inertia from the animated stage and transfer it to the simulated stage. Now you can also play with the friction value and the stiffness value to create a better simulation or something uh, closer to what you want. Next what you're going to do is add a wireframe modifier onto the net and then a subdivision surface modifier. Now, if you play with the crease value of the wireframe modifier, you'll get a basketball hoop or a net. And then all you have to do is model the ring, the backboard, the pole, the shading of the ball, and you're done. So that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you did. And do uh, check out my Patreon if you want my asset packs and products and more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.